Hi, hello from Quick and Carry Bags here in Traverse City, Michigan. Welcome to our Facebook Live event. We are here today to do something super fun and super special. So I'm really glad that those of you who are joining us live are with me today. My name is Kristen Madrine, and I have the honor today of announcing who the winner of our second Quick and Carry contest is. Um, one lucky winner is going to win this brand new Instant Pot, uh, fresh out of the box from UPS today. They will also win one of our six quart quick and carry bags. And I'll show you a little bit more about the bags in a few minutes. And all the accessories, a new um, one of the glass tops. We have the silicone mitts. We have uh, two or four ceiling rings so that you get um, exactly, we have four ceiling rings. So you have some for savory and some for sweet. And of course, everyone who's used the Instant Pot for a while knows you need more than one ceiling ring. So this entire package is worth over $300. And one lucky winner is going to find out today if he or she won the Quick and Carry giveaway. But in the meantime, I want to tell you a couple other things. We here at Quick and Carry, we not only love our Instant Pot and love our Quick and Carry bag and love our food, but we've started a new initiative here, and that is called Take Your Instant Pot to Work, or hashtag Take Your Instant Pot to Work. We do not have a super fancy kitchen here. Uh, we've just got a small little kitchen in our offices, and any office that has running water, a microwave, um, and some simple household items like plates, uh, knives, measuring cups, Anybody who has an Instant Pot can bring it to work and be part of hashtag bring your Instant Pot to work day. And we would love to know if any of you are doing it. Do you have a super great recipe on Friday and everybody pitches in and you have a little meal? Uh, do you have someone who brings Instant Pot food from home? Uh, please let us know. Uh, either comment now during the show or let us know later if you have ever brought your Instant Pot to work and what do you cook? What do uh, all of the eaters at your place of work love to eat? Uh, many of you who joined us last week saw that we made a cake in the Instant Pot and you can see all about that uh, on our blog on quickandcarry.com and uh, you can get the recipe for our delicious uh, lemon yogurt cake that was brought to you by Instantly Delicious, a wonderful blogger from Chicago. And uh, if we can do it, you can do it. So we want to know, are you taking your Instant Pot to work and how is it going for you? Obviously, taking your Instant Pot to work works better if you have a quick and carry transport bag. And that's exactly why we made this wonderful bag. It's so that you can travel with your Instant Pot. You can take it to a cookout, you can take it to a potluck, you can take it to your cabin for the weekend. I take mine to our lake house quite often, and I actually just took one, uh, took my Instant Pot on vacation with me when we were staying in a little cottage and I knew that we would be able to cook nothing better than being able to safely and securely take your Instant Pot and everything with it. And so the Quick and Carry bag was designed with traveling with your Instant Pot in mind. So now that being said, I wanna welcome everybody who's watching live and welcome anyone who's gonna join us later. Uh, thanks for watching. We were delighted with all of the response that we got last week for our very first Facebook Live event. So glad to have you along for this one too. I don't know about you, but here in Northern Michigan, as summer wanes, the best part about it is the fresh sweet corn that we have. We grow delicious sweet corn here in Northern Michigan. And on the way to work this morning, I stopped uh, at my local farmer. Her name is Joanne Olds. Hi, Joanne. And uh, shout out to all the local farmers uh, bringing in their harvests right now. And Joanne uh, is a wonderful farmer and she has a beautiful farm stand. And so this corn is super fresh, just picked this morning, uh, just south of here 
uh, in Traverse City. So um, we are going to put this in the Instant Pot and have a little corn. And so of course I've already shucked the corn and in the Instant Pot I've already put two cups of water. And it depends on the size of your corn and the size of your Instant Pot how much you're going to get in it. So I'm just going to lay as much of my corn in here as I can. And I'm going to have to crisscross some of it to really get it the way you want it. You want to have enough space in between the ears that you can, uh, that the steam will get to them. That's going to be perfect. Now, I tried this last night at home. I'm going to set my toggle to straight ahead or ceiling. And I'm going to push manual. And I'm going to increase it to three because when I made this at home last night, I didn't think the two minutes was quite done enough for us. So I'm going to put it on for three and we're going to let her go. Now, I want to tell you a little bit more about our bag. So here's the special envelope. I'm going to remove your prize, whoever is the winner. And let's talk about our bag for just a moment. This bag is so cool. I'm so proud of what we've done because not only do we make a bag for the Instant Pot, but it's for all the other stuff you need. So the zipper top, as you can see, we have the silicone cover in this and there's plenty of room for other things. And as I always say, there's room for a pie. You could put an entire pie in here. You can put supplies. You can put towels, you can put tongs, all of it has its own compartment and it's fully washable. So you can put food and or dirty items from your potluck back in your bag. In here is the Instant Pot and it's nice and roomy and it's also sturdy enough that you feel it feels protected but it's not too stiff that you can't get your pot in and out. And then we have this nice uh, pocket here in the front and you can put your cookbook or your manual or other items that you need to take with you wherever you're going. So once again, this is an awesome bag. And here's the other thing that I really love about this bag. two kinds of straps. This one Velcros together, so it's nice and sturdy if you need to lift it up. But my favorite thing about this is this long, sturdy shoulder bag. This makes all the difference when you're trying to haul this, your groceries, your purse, your other stuff out to the car, back into the house, into the potluck, wherever you're going. This is super awesome and is one of the best features we put it low enough on the bag so that the center of the gravity really picks up where you need to and it makes a great feature to our quick and carry bag. All right, now we're going to get ready to do the envelope in just a moment. I'm going to say hello to a couple of the people that are joining us today. Oh! Who's with us today? Hello to Evelyn. How are you, Evelyn? Thanks for joining us today. Liz, yes, we do have them in other sizes. We have the six quart that you see here. We have an eight quart bag for the eight quart pot. And yes, all of you who got the new mini, we will soon have a three quart bag for you. That's a very good question. Melanie, hello from Texas. Hope everything's okay down there in Texas for y'all. Bailey, thank you for joining us. So glad to see all of you here. Amy, Andy, hi you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Susan from Wingate, oh, Susan Hoffman, Wingate. Thanks for coming. Yes, you do need one of these. This is an awesome thing. Now, I want to give a shout out to this old gal because uh, anybody who knows anything about the Instant Pot knows that she has 
a wonderful site and wonderful recipes, and she certainly is an Instant Pot expert. She cooks her corn in the Instant Pot a little differently. She puts milk, butter, and sugar in the bottom of the pot as um, the corn is cooking. And one of the variations that she offers on her recipe is to put Old Bay seasoning. Well, I love Old Bay seasoning, but not everybody does. So because we have so many people here at work, I thought what better way to do this than to make some of our Old Bay lovers some Old Bay butter. So I took a half a stick of butter and just put it in our microwave over here and warmed it up. And so this is a half a stick of butter. And now I have four teaspoons of the Old Bay seasoning already. And I'm just gonna make this. Because I know that some of my eaters are gonna love this on their corn when the corn is done. So we're still getting up to pressure over there. And so I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Do we have any other questions? <laughs> Amy Main says, I need this for taking my Instant Pot to my daughter's house. Yes, you do. These bags just make it so much easier. And I have seen really fun ways that people transport. Uh, some people just keep their box and you know take the Instant Pot in the box. Some people have shopping bags. Some people use Christmas light bags. Um, there are lots of really uh, clever ways that you can take your Instant Pot. None of them are as cool as the Quick and Carry bag is because we thought of everything. And people have asked me as we've you know brought this product to market, how did you figure out how to do this? One of the ways is that we took some bags and we tried to rip the zippers off. We tried to rip the linings. We put the straps different places. We asked uh, instant pot lovers what did they want. We went through a whole process of trying to hone in on what would make a bag something that you really needed for your instant pot. And some of you probably have tons of kitchen counter space and can leave your instant pot out all the time. But some of us, including me, I have a rather small kitchen and not a ton of counter space. So the fact that I can keep my instant pot in that bag with all the other stuff and just set it in the closet or set it in the pantry or keep it under the table. Uh, that's wonderful for someone like me. Uh, some of you know that my niece just got married this summer and we gave her the instant pot and the bag for her wedding present. She uses it all the time. And as a college student living in a tiny little place, she loves that she can put it away easily and keep everything safe. So I hear some good stuff going on in the pot over there. Let's get that corn done. All right, so uh, I talked about this old gal and her wonderful little ideas for making corn. People love to do it that way. And um, one of the things that we would love, I do see that some of you are commenting and sharing, um, but don't forget to uh, share this to people who aren't able to watch it live. A lot of people are at work right now, and we know that. So if you know people who love the Instant Pot, uh, make sure that you send this to them so that they can enjoy seeing uh, who wins our great contest and um, uh, learn a little bit more about using the Instant Pot. I have to say, come on, corn is pretty easy. Um, all right, let's get to the big thing that we're going to do today. Oh, well, but just before I announce the winner, I do also want to say if you have any recipes that you would like to see us cook live, we'd love to know. I love to cook. I am a trained chef and I love to do instant pot cooking. And so if there's a recipe that you are curious about, if there's something that you've tried and it didn't work for you and you'd like to see us try it here at Quick and Carry, we would love your feedback on what you would like to see in our future Facebook Live events. So a little drum roll, please. Who won? the over $300 Quick and Carry giveaway. This is our second giveaway. And the name of our winner Janice Cash.
Congratulations. Oh, I got goosebumps just telling you that you won. I can't imagine how thrilling it would be to be on the other end of this great prize. So Janice Cash, C-A-S-H, you have won the second Quick and Carry giveaway. You've got a new, brand new Instant Pot, a new Quick and Carry bag, and you have all of the accessories uh, that go with it, including a cookbook. So congratulations. Uh, let us know. Uh, are you jumping up and down? Are you thrilled? Did you already have an Instant Pot and this is your second? Or is this uh, your very first Instant Pot? We're so happy for you and you'll hear from us via email and we'll arrange to send the pot to you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take another. Okay, I have a wonderful question from Melanie Miller. I see many posts on the Instant Pot, but I have a power pressure cooker, XL. Do these cook the same way? Yes, they absolutely do. Um, you have to read your manual and understand the differences between it and the Instant Pot. We do all of ours with the Instant Pot because that's the one that we're the most familiar with, but I know plenty of people who have different kinds of cookers and you can use our recipes or any of the recipes out there and try them in your Instant Pot. Our six and eight quart bags will fit the other pressure cookers that are on the market. So thank you. That's a really great question. And um, I hope that you will try all of our recipes in your type of pot. Okay. Who else is out there? Melanie, that was a great, great question. Um, Liz Childer says, perfect for carrying my mini in the RV and back into the house when home. You know, we've gotten a lot of feedback from people that are RVers or travelers. There's even a family uh, who has a blog and they travel all over the country with all of their kids and they, of course, use the Instant Pot everywhere that they go. So you RVers are some of our best customers because you need to be able to transport and keep your baby safe. All right, anything else? Liz is such a nice person that she congratulated Janice. Bet you are dancing with joy. That's true. I bet Janice is dancing with joy. I hope she's watching and knows that she uh, that she is our winner. Somebody else just joined us and asked what I'm making with the Old Bay. What I have made is just a little Old Bay butter so that our eaters, when the pot is finished over there, when we're done with our um, corn, um, I know that for sure my boss, he loves Old Bay, and he's gonna want this too. All right, any other questions? I'm gonna just take a minute and look. Amy, we will get back to you. We know that you're on and have asked that question. We'll... Oh, uh -huh. Linda Almond from Springdale, Arizona, she got her quick and carry. I hope you love it as much as we do. Let us know. We'd love to hear your feedback. Sammy Harrison also is happy for Janice. Oh, I can start to feel, I can start to smell the corn and it's going to be done in just a few minutes here. So because we don't want to keep you until we all eat our corn, I just want to say thank you to Joanne for the wonderful corn along the side of the road this morning. I want to say, say thank you to Instant Pot uh, for <laughs> the greatest tool to come along and cooking in a very, very long time. I want to say thank you to all of the people here at Quick and Carry that have put in hours of work to bring this wonderful bag to you. I do think just as a consumer, you couldn't have a better bag than a quick and carry bag. And uh, we're very proud of what we've come up with and we hope that you'll all really enjoy having a wonderful bag to put your Instant Pot in. And I wanna also say that if you have any feedback for us after the Facebook Live is done, 
leave a comment. We always get back to you. We love to hear from our customers. We love to hear from our viewers. You can see our bag and more about our company at quickandcarry.com. Obviously, you found uh, your way to our Facebook page. We also have a Twitter feed and you can find us on Instagram. Please friend us, like us, and um, watch as we bring you more Facebook Live videos. Let us know if there are any recipes that you would like. And I wish that the corn had gotten done at the same time, but it took a little bit more time to get up to steam than I thought. So I'm just going to say goodbye for today, and we will enjoy the corn uh, when it comes out of the Instant Pot. Thanks for being with you, with us today. And as the wonderful Julia Child used to say, Bon Appetit. <laughs>